Hey friends, welcome back to OG Universe. Thank you so much for stopping by. And today on the turntable, we're taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse McFarlane Collector Edition Connor Kent Superboy from the Teen Titans. This is a figure that, I'm going to say it right now, this is a groundbreaker. This is truly a groundbreaker. Since day one, when I reviewed the Alan Scott figure from this subline, there was a running thread through every figure that I've reviewed from this subseries, and it's been addressed here. Is Todd finally listening to our voices, our concerns, what the fans and the buyers of his toys want? Maybe, maybe our voices are finally being heard because this figure is special in that regard. Now, I normally don't have the figure in the package. I like to unbox it first, play around with it, especially cut out all those ties that keep the figure bound to that plastic tray. But this time I cut the ties off and I want to show you guys something that when I first opened it, realized, holy crap, this is different. This is team changing stuff. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look at the figure and what we get. Now, guys, do you notice something that's not here? That's in every figure from the collector's edition series. I'll give you a moment to just take a look. And we'll discuss that in a second. <laughs> I want to talk about the artwork. The artwork on the back is absolutely awesome. This is definitely how I imagine Connor Kent to look like. Muscles. Just taking it to these evil doer robots. Really striking, imposing figure. He looks phenomenal in the Titan streaming service show. That actor that plays him, that is spot on Connor Kent. And he looks so good. Simple costume. A black t-shirt, the Superman logo, some jeans, some boots. There you go, you're off to the races. You got a Connor Kent. So let's open this guy up. And as you can see, Connor Kent, Team Titans, he's number 15. We've had 15 of these figures already in this series. And like I said, this is the first time we're breaking ground on some new kind of uh, threads, hopefully. And as you can see here, I paid $35.99 Canadian with that Platinum Edge card from GameStop. If you don't have that card, you're paying $40 Canadian. In the US, I believe this is $30. So is this the $30 value that we're getting? Is this the $35 or even $40 value figure? Is it worth it? We're gonna see in a second here, guys. We're gonna see it. So we'll take this out of the packaging. We'll take a look at what we got here. We got Connor Kent. We got two alternate heads, which is fantastic. The beautiful trading card artwork, a ground effect. So just imagine Connor's landing, smashing the ground, or even he's about to take off in flight, and he's kind of just lifting gravity and just destroying everything around him. Plus, look what else we got. We got a flight stand plus a display stand disc. And then you can see that the DC logo, I don't know if this is just mine, but it looks like it's not as small as it usually is. It's much larger and it's almost a little bit cut off at the bottom there. So that's kind of interesting, something a little different. I truly appreciate having a flight stand and a display stand plus the ground effect. And do you guys notice what we don't have throughout all of this? We don't have that display stand for the trading card. Just imagine, look what we can do. Without that display stand, we get so much more extra added value. I swear, it seems like, and I'm, I know I'm, this is not true, of course, but Todd listened to my videos, saw how much we all, all fandom of DC Mothers don't want those display stands. We want extra accessories, extra heads, everything like this. It just feels like he's finally listening and he answered it big time with this action figure. I am so impressed that we finally got rid of that display stand. Hopefully this will be an ongoing theme and we don't have to see those display stands anymore. I'm just gonna put this back on the turntable. I'm just gonna show you here. This Sergeant Rock figure is from the exact same wave of figures. This guy is number 14. Doesn't come much with accessories. He's just got a couple extra sets of hands, a shovel to, you know, fight a war with. No guns because of the WB mandate. There is a way around it. Munitions pack. When we do the review on this guy, we're going to arm him full of full arsenal of weapons you can give your figure. Does have that really beautiful artwork, but he comes with that display stand. Imagine if he didn't have this display stand. What other accessories we could have got. The helmet's nicely tucked underneath his arm as well. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see in the future what it holds. But let's get this figure out of the display here, out of the tray, and we'll take a look at everything you get. Man, he, 
is in there. Good. All right. So let's take a look at this figure in detail. Now, there was a couple things I was thinking to myself. You know what? Tav, the figure is lacking a little things. It's lacking those little touches, right? It's lacking that better body buck. But you know what? After playing around with this figure, the body buck isn't that bad. It's not too bad for this figure. I mean, it's a very lean cut figure. He isn't imposing. He doesn't have the gigantic biceps. It's really swelled out chest. But what he does have here, it's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. It's better than I thought it would be. But I still kind of want to do some toy surgery to improve this figure. And that's probably going to be one of the big projects that I'm going to put and challenge myself to this year. I've done lots of toy surgery. Swapped out heads, we've done the torso extension, we swapped out ball pegs in the neck, but this time I want to really swap out arms, maybe the legs, I want to see if I can do something with the chest, the abdomen, I'm going to pretty much redo this entire figure, that's going to be a big toy surgery project, but we'll see how it goes. But overall, this figure aesthetics, it looks good, I mean, Superboy, this Connor Can version doesn't have a lot of going, things going on, has a black t-shirt, Maybe some wristbands, maybe something like that. Maybe some combat boots instead of just kind of shoes, right? I kind of like the combat boots that we've seen in the Young Justice series. But man, it is a striking figure. And the head sculpt is really well done. Definitely captures that Connor Kent look. And I think it's going to be so useful with other figures. If you want to do some head swaps, you want to do some toy surgery and refresh up your line. I really appreciate the, the stoic look. But you also get, of course, the gritting head. You get the Luther-inspired head as well. The hands, yeah, you got that. It's been a yeah, running tread with these past couple figures that we get the pointing hands. Everybody's pointing, like just, I'm pointing at you, you know? It's PowerPoint. It's kind of interesting. I'm really interested to see what this, oh, look at that. Okay, get this guy out. So, interesting to see that it has a peg here at the bottom. So I'm assuming a display stand will fit into there. Yeah, so it fits into there. You can have them elevated. You got maybe lifting off, so to speak. But that is a really nice touch, a really cool little piece here. And it's detailed extremely well, looks phenomenal. You got the two pegs here to hold your figure on as well. So let's just give that a shot. Let's see how it looks. Right, so I just put one in, but man, you can get him something a little bit different here. You know, he's gonna tip over a little bit, but there you go. You wanna do that, you wanna really pose him out in the sense of, oh man, he's so stiff. <laughs> you know, you wanna pose him out like he's about to take off into a flight. You can do that, no problem. Let's just get that in there. And there you go. You know, you can do some stuff like that. I think that's very cool. A very nice touch to add that extra little bit of oomph to this figure. We love that oomph, man. We love to get extra value. So I'm just going to pop. Wow, that isn't good. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that off and just take a closer look at the figure. I kind of want to run through articulation because, I don't know, articulation, you pretty much know what you're getting with these figures. It's pretty much standard throughout the entire kind of you know, multiverse line, except a few figures that have single jointed elbows, but this guy, you know, he's got pretty much everything going on. So the one thing I did notice, the head doesn't have much of side attitude even, doesn't look up or down very much at all. Of course, you can do the side swivel. I'm gonna check that out when we pop the head off and try some of the other ones on, what the deal is with that, but he does have the spacer joint, so some fluid range of motion in the shoulders, does have the bicep cut, Double joint and ratcheted elbows, ball joints at the wrist. Now torso articulation. I've been playing around with this a little bit. It's not too bad. So we can't go back too much. You can't go forward too much. So we got to fix that. But the ball joint right here at the waist seems to be where a lot of the articulation is. So he has a bit more articulation going back there. Simple fix. We can just extend this. Check out the peg that's jammed up in there. Maybe loosen it up a little bit. Lower it. So that'll give him a bit more articulation at the diaphragm joint there. Ball joints at the hips, double joint and ratcheted knees, which are really tight. And he has the ankle, toe pivot, everything else going on with that ankle and the sculpted ball joints. So this figure, you can definitely get him into some dynamic poses. 
Just a shame about that head. We'll fix that joint. No worries there. We'll do some toy surgery and we'll make some improvements there. But I really like the way this figure looks. I thought the body box would be too small, too thin, you know, but it's starting to really kind of grow on me. I am really like the proportions. He is a thinner buck, right? But I expect him to be a little bit thicker. And I am going to probably try and find another one of these ones. I'm going to probably order another one online just to do some toy surgery because I think I want to try some... It's going to be a big project. I want to really kind of revamp this figure and give him bigger proportions, bigger, more appropriate arms in my imagination, how I see Connor Kent's Superboy. But overall, I like the way the figure looks. It's definitely a definite surprise. Here. Really nice. Man, these articulation is tight. Really tight joints. That's great to see. So I just want to take them off of this thing here. Let's put them back on the display stand. And let's see what other stuff he comes with here. Okay. So, yeah, really impressive. Very impressive. So we've got the, the two hands. Now, I'm really not into you showing the hands because basically I prefer the figure with fists. He's not going to be holding any kind of weapon or anything like that. The pointing thing is just eh, not, not my favorite thing to do. But I definitely want to take a look at these heads. So in the moment, just enjoy the, uh, the Superboy there. And I'll punch out these heads from the packaging. Because they're in really secure. And wow, they even got ties around the head, guys. So be careful when you're popping your figures out. Because they are bound in as well. Alright, so these guys are out of the way. Alright, so the extra heads and what we get here. We get that gritting teeth. That angry super boy. And what I really love, of course, they cast it in that really nice, more realistic flesh tone plastic. Which looks so damn good really appreciate that little effect you don't have to paint the head you can just cast it in that nice plastic the eyes are painted nicely the teeth look good the hair is looking sharp really nice sculpt and then you got the more evil maniacal kind of luther inspired head which just looks so damn good with the heat vision bursting out on the sides really nice clean shave man this guy he's using the mach 3 or something here he's got a great shaved head really well done the lips look good you know, the skin tone, again, fantastic. And let's pop some of these heads onto this Superboy. All right, guys, I'm going to try and pop this off and hopefully not break anything. This is the first time I'm trying. Oh, holy, that is on tight. Okay, we got that off. Now, let's try the kind of green teeth. I'm not going to put it on the way in, but you can kind of see here what it looks like. Man, that looks great. Really nice head sculpt. Man, I could definitely see this going on to maybe Shazam, another Superboy. Maybe even unmasked Robin or something like that. And let's put on this one here. Okay. So, oh, wow. That, that is just like a total new figure. Man, that looks awesome. Really well done. Man, it just captures that evil look that this figure could have for sure. Put him on a flight stand and have him looking down upon your other Titans that he's going to wreck. Man, just really well done. Very nice. All right, let's just put the regular head sculpt back on. Now let's take a look at the actual pay first of all. So the pay is really stiff in here. So I think I might do this. For, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to boil and pop the peg and readjust it back into the neck hole just to loosen it up a little bit because it just does seem extremely tight. And I know it's in there very tight because you don't want to be popping off the, the peg into the head and then trying to get the peg out of the head when you're swapping them out. So they did do something here to modify it so it stays in a little bit tighter. But I think I do kind of want to reposition it a little bit and just loosen it up because it has next to no articulation, unfortunately, with this head. The other heads, same thing. I tried that out earlier. It is a deep cavity as well, so that might be an issue. But I think if we even try and maybe do an extended neck peg with this, it might be a possibility to loosen up and give you better range of motion in the ball joint for the head. But... In the meantime, we'll just enjoy it as it is. And that thud is very satisfying. You know that it's in tight, it's in good. But man, I am I'm really impressed with this Superboy figure. I really do like the way it looks, the aspects of it, the accessories, fantastic. And let's just bring in some other characters that you could put this figure with, especially with your Teen Titans, if you want to go that route. And you got Impulse here, who's another mainstay of one of the Teen Titans, especially on Young Justice. I absolutely loved him on Young Justice. And we definitely are building out 
that Titans universe of figures that I'm really excited to put my teen videos out there very shortly. Uh, yes, <laughs> the Teen Titans. If you watch my Kid Flash, my other videos on some of the Titan figures that we've got in the past, they're very important to me. It's a, a super team I think I like almost more than Justice League, which is a bold statement as well. But man, I just love my Titans and they look really good together. Another figure we're going to bring out here. And this one is from the Gotham Knights video game. And that is Tim Drake. I like the height difference between these two. Superboy, definitely a bigger figure. Tim Drake, you know, especially in this kind of time frame and this reincarnation, or not reincarnation, this incarnation of Robin looks really good together. I like how he's a little bit smaller. He's kind of like uh, Kent's the big brother, so to speak. Really cool looking. I like that a lot. And then we're going to bring in a figure that I've, I've done a lot of customs in the past little while. Uh, a lot of toy surgery to try and improve some of my figures and just give some fresh takes. Unfortunately, last week I was really sick. I lost my voice. I had some weird summer cold. That turned out to be a bit more than that, but I'm okay now. I feel pretty good. But this is one of the figures we worked on, kind of like my definitive Robin. And we'll talk more about him in another video, but seeing these two guys together, now I'm starting to see, you know what, this is a really buff Robin. <laughs> this is a little thin of Connor Kent. But I think they can still work. If you position them differently, put them Superboy here on a flight stand, we can get some, you know, different proportions, different perspectives, so to speak, and we can kind of fake it a little bit. But these two are very interesting. And stay tuned, we will do more with this Robin in great detail. Another figure that we're going to put up, and I'm going to show a lot of figures because a lot of comparisons I want to do, and that is a Nightwing. So this is from the Bat Family 5-pack from Amazon. Swapped them out, gave him a new head, did some toy surgery. This is my definitive Nightwing, so to speak, for now. These two together, I don't mind it. Nightwing could be a little bit taller, but that's okay. I'm liking the way these guys look. And again, we're going to do a full toy surgery video showcasing all of the different customs I've made in the past little while. And there's a lot of them. All right, now we're getting some figures that we need to talk about here. So the other version of the Superboy moniker, right? But not actually Superboy, so to speak. And that is this here. This is the Jonathan Kent body buck that we swapped out the Con L Superboy head and put it on and we proved this figure tremendously because you know the figure, that, the head that was on this figure is one of my absolute favorites. It's gone onto Shazam. It's gone onto my other Con L Superboy. But I finally found a good use for this kind of goofy head sculpt, and it suits this body buck to a T. Again, we'll talk about this more in another video, but just to give you a little preview, yeah, it looks pretty damn good. Really sits well on this body buck as well. And then let's bring in a couple other guys here that are extremely important. We got the other, I don't know, he could be your Superboy or a Superman. Depends on how you want to play it out. In my collection, it's kind of a... A Superboy that's on the verge of becoming Superman. That's how I see it. Now, I really do like the way these two guys look together. I think it's very good. Very sharp. The contrast, the Superman family is just growing exponentially. I love it. This guy could even be in the Titans, man. Imagine this super-powered Superman as Superboy in the Titans. Would be interesting, of course. Hopefully, I'm really, really hopeful that we get some Legion of Superhero figures in the McFarland line in some respect. Legion is not my favorite by any means, but it's just, it's an untapped part of the DC universe that we haven't seen done yet in a very, very long time. And I think this Superboy or Superman would perfectly fit into the Legion of Superheroes. This would definitely be my Legionnaire Superboy. And man, it would be exciting. If you're reading the um, Justice Society book from DC Comics right now, it's a bit of a spoiler. They're facing off against the Legion of Superheroes. I think this might be the first time we've seen the Legion in quite some time. So very excited for that. It's a really good comic book, by the way. It's a really good stories. Some amazing artwork as well. But yeah, we're starting to see that, that growth there. Very cool. And then I want to bring in another figure here that's one of the most uh, interesting in my lineup. And one of, the, one of my faves. I did a lot of work on this guy. My goodness. So this here is the definitive Superman in my collection. This is the Hush Body Buck that's been modified, so to speak. We extend the torso, new neck pig. We actually did something here. 
I've been meaning to do for a long time, and that is swap out the logo here. We'll talk about more in my toy surgery video that's coming soon, because we're probably gonna be a couple of them. So I did a lot of customs when I was sick, and I was just trying to trying to keep myself occupied, and I kind of wanted to get better really quick. So a lot of things I want to share with you guys, but that looks so much better. And then just this height comparison between the two, kind of like that. You know, he's not super short, not super tall. They fits in well. But yeah, very, very nicely done. So guys, this has been a video here that uh, I'm very happy to just share with you guys. Connor Kent, Superboy from the Teen Titans. Ah, an incredible figure. Guys, it changed my opinion. You know, it's what you get with these figures. You know, you see the promo pics, you see some other reviews, and maybe they don't touch on certain things. I don't know. Uh, as a collector, I'm very specific. I have a lot of things that run through my head and how I want to see these figures and the fact that we can modify them, that we have, you know, the skills. Everybody has the skills to boil and pop, and that's simple to do. It's your imagination that you spark and what these figures can do. What you, as a collector, as a customizer, and there's some awesome ones out there, my goodness. One in particular, or a few in particular that I follow here that are extremely good. Bones, <laughs> Bones at the Necro Zoo. My goodness, that guy is one of the most talented, one of the most talented customers I've seen ever. Check out some of his videos. And then there's another one that I really appreciate and I follow him as well. He is NY Legend, no, NY Backyard Legend 4. Does some awesome chrome, kind of chroming. His big one is my favorite is the chrome steel that he did. It was just phenomenal. My goodness, it was good. And a real nice guy, by the way, too. So definitely check out their channels. Check out some of their videos, some customs. But yeah, this has been a very eye-opening figure. No display stand for that card. And look at all the stuff we got. We got the extra hands, the extra heads, two extra heads, the ground effect, a display stand, plus a flight stand. So just imagine other figures that we think, oh my God, you should have had more accessories. You should have had this instead of that display stand. Now we're seeing it. And Todd... Everyone at McFarland Toys, McFarland Toys, I appreciate you. I appreciate you listening to your fans, your customers, and doing the right thing. Hopefully, this is a new trend moving forward, and we're going to see that display stand go bye-bye, and more accessories come with your figures to really emphasize the value that you're getting. I feel very good paying $35 for everything that I got here. So when you think about it, these figures are about $26 Canadian, right? $26. So for an extra little bit, you're not getting a, this useless display stand and you're getting all these extra accessories that make it worth it to me for $35. Definitely a good value. An awesome figure. Let me know in the comments below, guys. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you guys really want that display stand or would you rather have the extra accessories? Let me know. I'm definitely interested in what you guys have to say. I want to thank everyone for watching taking some time out of your day and spending some time with your friend Tav here and just enjoying some DC Multiverse talking toys and hope you guys had a fun time watching this video. Take care guys and we will see you in the next one.